Hi guys, me and Kim and I are here, and today we have my mom. Hi guys. And today we are here to talk to you guys about Europe Crate. This crate, as they call it, has a bunch of different snacks from different parts of Europe, from uh, the different countries in Europe. And so we're going to open them up and- um, Try them out. Yeah, and review them for you. Yeah, and see if they're like, eh, not really my record. Yeah, so um, Kieran has this globe here. And so once we open up the, um, the different uh, snacks, we're gonna show you exactly where on the globe uh, that the snacks were made or where they're sold anyways. Okay, all right, so let's get started with the crate. Okay, guys, Karen is opening it up. Welcome to Europe, Karen. Yes, welcome to Europe. And let's see here. Let's see what we got going on here, guys. Okay, fun facts. So let's explore Europe. Um, oh, and then the what's in the box tells you what's in the box. And the ingredients, and then some um, uh, a quiz on Europe. Uh -uh. Pretty cool, huh? And then it looks like there's a recipe. Yeah. For um for European, it looks like Mama Mama Liga. I'm not sure where that's from. It looks like it could be from like Spain or something like that. Okay. All right, so let's get to it. I think I'm gonna there's a lot of snacks in here, huh? So once again, here are the snacks. And since you're the youngest, why don't you go ahead and pick first? Let's go Okay, what is that called? It's called um, Pandorino? Pandorino. Don't say soul, Pandorino. Don't say soul, Pandorino. Okay, go ahead and open it up, Karen. Okay. Let's see if I can figure out where this is from. Ooh. This is so kind of here. Ooh, this looks like a donut. This is Spain. So this is from Spain. Spain. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I think it's like sweet bread. Take a bite of it and see how it tastes. Oh, it's got like a, it says a fluffy bun filled with mouth-watering cocoa and produced with the finest ingredients, now made without palm oil. Mm. It's good? No. Mm, it's got a little chocolatey feeling. Let's see. This tastes like one of those honey buns. Yeah. It reminds me of a honey bun. Yeah. So you like it? Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Pandor Pandorino. Mm. Okay. So now I will try. Um. Mm. Let's see. Oh, that looks like dark and dirty. Okay, Filipinos made with real white chocolate. Filipinos, let's try it. Okay, open it up, Mom. Okay. I'm ready. Filipinos. That looks like Yes, let's see how it tastes, honey. Oh, Ooh. okay, cool. Ooh. Wait a minute. Okay, cool, guys. Look at it. It's kind of cool, huh? It's yeah. Got something um, with white chocolate over it. You want to try? Yeah. Try yours. I'll try mine. Oh, they're hard to bite. They are? Are they crunchy? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Not bad. Mmm. This reminds me. Mmm. This reminds me of something. This reminds me of like um those cookies, those little cookies. Yeah, uh, there you go. It reminds me of um okay. the cookies. I forget what they're called, but they have like um they're like um, shortbread cookies, and they've got like um, chocolate stripes across them. I forget what they're called. I'll probably end up putting like the name of it um, on the screen or something. Okay. Okay, so you're only supposed to have just a little bit, Karen, because we got to go on to the rest of this stuff. Okay, okay. You can come back to this in a little bit, okay? It's really good. 
So it is your turn now. What are you gonna? Oh wait a minute. Let's see what the Filipinos. Where's that from? Yeah. You think maybe Philippines or? Like That's that. from Spain. Light and crunchy biscuits with a hole in the middle and covered in white chocolate. Perfect to enjoy outside with a cup of tea or coffee. Okay, that does seem like that'd be pretty good with some coffee. On to the next. Okay, this one has been calling. Karen, Karen, please eat. Show them on the screen. What's it called? Let's see. Um, La Casitos? Yeah, La Casitos. It looks like I, I can already tell you this is from Spain because this is in Spanish. Yeah. It I says, Sin Aceite de Palma without palm oil. So go ahead and open it up. And um, it looks like it has M&M's. It does, huh? Right there. Let's open it. Oh. Can you help me? Yeah. Okay. So you want to show everybody where Spain is? Do you know where Spain is on the um, globe? I don't know. Okay, I'll show you where it's at. I know it starts with an S. It starts with an E. Oh, Espana. Espana. Okay, so Ooh. this is it right here. It looks it's like got, a chocolate bar. It looks like it's got like little mini M&Ms in it. Mm -hmm. And then on the back, it's like a crunch bar. Look yeah. at that. It's got it's all like those crunchies. Bumpy. Okay, so take a piece out and I will show everybody where Spain is. Espana. Okay. Ooh, this is a small little. Okay, so anyways, here is Europe, right here, and España is right there, right above Africa. Okay, you see that, Kieran? So here's Europe, here's Africa, and Spain is right there. Oh, yep. Okay. The end right. at the S. Yeah. At the end. Ah. Okay. Is it good? Mm. Of course it's good. It's cho got chocolate in it, huh? Yeah. Awesome. La casitos. La casitos. Okay, now it is my turn. Nah, that's okay. I'm okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, What's the matter? You saw something? Uh, Okay, let's just go to the Cheetos. And it says Pelotazos Futbolas. So, Cheetos football players. Oh, I think oh yeah, these are like footballs. Like, if you look at it, it looks like a soccer ball is what it looks like. Yeah, I Foot think football. Um, um, soccer ball players would love eating these. You think so? Yeah, because like... There's a porn in it. Yeah, that's true. They're eating their own. Okay, let's. Oh, look, this is so cute. Try one, boy. This is the soccer ball right here. Cute. Okay, um, let's see. It's probably from Spain, too. Let's see. Because it's in Spanish. Mm, these Cheetos, yep, from Spain. Oh. Okay, it says these Cheetos are a fantastic Spanish twist on the original Cheetos because they are baked and shaped like footballs or soccer balls as we call them in America. Mm, what do you think? Mm. You don't like it? Not for me. I kind of like it. You can have it. It's got a different taste to it, huh? It's not like the regular Cheetos here in the United States. Mm, yeah. You don't mean. Mm. I already know. I mean, it's okay. It tastes like, um, kind of like bunions a little bit, huh? Okay, know, like, on to the next. Milky chocolate. Okay, what is it called? It's called Milka? Oreo Choco. Oreo, okay, open it up, girl. Mom, it has Oreo. Yeah. And you make Oreo. Yeah. yeah. You want me to open it for you? Yeah, I'll open it for Wait. you. Okay. I'm so excited These are for these. Packaged pretty good. Yeah. Where you guys be getting your packages? Is there like Jeez, fluffy? Some cemented. Is some mint on me? Ooh, no, no. This is like heaven for you, huh? You can see the little, let's show them, the little bits of chocolate of Oreo inside. This is a... Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
your baby, huh? Okay, girly, take a bite. Oh. From Spain? Looks like almost everything is from Spain. Mm. Delicious. Yes, it's good, huh? Pretty good? Anything with Oreos and chocolate and all that, that's going to be a, a, a thumbs up. What do you think? Yummy. It's heaven. It's heaven, huh? Okay, let's set that down, little chocolate monster. I'll come back to two things. You're gonna come back to that a little bit, huh? Okay, guys, so. Uh, seriously? <laughs> she, she just sprayed on me. Okay, let's see. Um, just like they say, don't say it, don't spray it. You wanna try this one? Uh, sure. You wanna wait? This is the Capri Sun Safari Fruits. What do you want to do? You want to wait this? Save that to last? Um, we can do that now. Okay, we'll do it now. Capri Sun Safari Fruits. Okay, let's try it. That's from... Oh, where is I it think from? Spain. No, it's not actually. It's um, not name from Spain. Let's see. I like the name in country. Let's see. I don't know any country that is in America. Yeah. Let me look on the packaging. Maybe that'll give me a hint. It says um, Republic of Czech. Czech Republic. So it's the Czech Republic. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, cool. You want to open it? You open it. Okay. I'm the master of opening Okay. Let's see. Now it says. Capri Sun iced tea. Is that what that is? Iced tea? No. Safari fruits. Well, it must be kind of close to saying. Try this amazing new summer drink. An energizing blend of peach juice, puree, and decaffeinated tea extract with no additional artificial ingredients. Okay. Oh, that was the... Uh, um, okay. See. I have it in. You want me to um, it Yeah, go ahead and try it. It's good. I know it is it good. Otherwise, you orange juice. It does? I like it. Very good. Reminds me of high C. Oh, yeah, high C. Like high C. It's like a high C. Like, um, okay, let's try another one. Yeah. What is that called? Mm -hmm. Gouillon Moment Choco Star. Okay. Gouillon Moment Choco, Choco Star. Star. Let's see where that's from. If I can figure it out. From Spain. Of course. Uh huh. Savor the moment of Guyon Moment Choco Star Milk Chocolate and Cream. Biscuits with cream filling and milk chocolate coating. <laughs> oh, what are these like? Um, what are they like? I know it. A lot of these different um, uh, <laughs> snacks are by the same, um, like, Frito Lay, uh, uh, Mondelez, um, a lot of the different, the same uh, snack manufacturers here in the United States. So a lot of them will taste a lot like the same. Uh, some of them here, they'll be just shaking. The names will be different. So you have been biting at the grips to say something. What's up, girl? It tastes like Oreos, and it tastes so good. I'm coming in. Okay, I'm gonna have to agree with you on this. This is really yummy. Mmm, these are good. Plus. Good stuff, huh? Okay. Uh, did we pick, did we ever, yeah, we said where that was from. Okay. Dumbly Snacks. Okay. Dumbly Snacks. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. This is like a... What do they call it? A hundred thousand dollar bar or ten thousand mm. dollar? Mm. It's good. Mm. Okay. Oh, another one. I'm not sure where this is from. I have to pick, figure it out. Let's see if we can figure it out on the back here. What you think? Finland, Helsinki, Finland. What you think? It okay? You don't like it? Oh my goodness, I like it. Look, it has like a crispy outer layer with chocolate. 
and then it's got like a caramel inside of it. It's, I mean, it's okay. This is what I imagine coffee to take with. Mm. And it's from Helsinki, Finland. Okay, we got one more left. You wanna try it? Sure. Oh, you know what? We haven't even been like showing people where the... Okay, so where's the system from? Okay, this is Spain. This is from Czech um, Republic of Czech, Czech Republic. Where's that at? Okay. Czech Republic is between Hungary, well, Austria, Germany, and Poland. Kind of a, I'm sorry for this small little globe here, yeah, but anyways. Right there, guys. Kind of smack dab in the middle of uh, Western Europe. It smells so bad. It is, really? Yes. Okay, let me, let me get a whiff of it. Mm, not Oh, this looks old too. I don't know. If yeah, I, I don't. It's just this feeling. It's got like a uh, sort of like I, a raspberry feeling. I don't know if I survive. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be taking a bite of this. I'm just I'm, from the smell of it, kind of smell. Uh, okay, it says seven days for settle, a tasty and practical breakfast option. Fine pastry made with flour baked from our four cereals and filled with forest fruits filling. Okay, um, yeah, let's see. I think this is old. I don't know. I just, uh, 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 guys, it's uh, kind of uh, like uh, a. No, sorry, It may not really be all that bad, but I just, you know. We're not. Seven days, let me see. And maybe, maybe it's just old. Maybe once they, when they first manufacture it, first make it, it's probably tastes good. But, uh, you know, this has been shipped here from Europe to the United States. Who knows how long this has been sitting. So, or settle. Seven days for settle. Okay. Yes, and so that is the Europe crepe, guys. All these yummy chocolatey goodies, chips, and drinks from different parts of Europe. Okay, you can have it. I'm the boss, baby. Yeah. So all in all, it was pretty good. We enjoyed it. What do you think? It was pretty good, huh? Very good. Very yes. good. Very good. Karen, she's already got some favorites here. All right, so anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching our review of the Europe okay. Crate. Um, we'll leave a link in the description of where you can get your very own Europe Crate. Okay. okay? So thanks for watching, and have a good evening. Bye-bye.